Okay, walk right through. We are here with Scott with Thalmic. We're talking about the Mayo today, which is an awesome armband, but I'll have him tell you what it's all about. Well, so uh, tell us about the Mayo. Great, so this is a, an alpha prototype of the Mayo armband. Uh, what it allows you to do is actually recognize the broader movements of your arm as well as discrete hand gestures that you make. So you can use this actually to, to play a game where you've actually got a cursor or an aimer and a first person shooter. And then you can actually go and get blocked through the shot. He knew we were shooting too. Yeah. And then you can actually make a, a gesture to actually shoot or fire. Um, so this can be used in a lot of different things. Gaming is, is definitely a, a great area for it. Um, so if you're in, a, in an immersive environment, uh, virtual reality using an Oculus Rift or, or some other heads up display like that, um, it really gets you into the game and it's really a more natural way of interacting. You know, you don't have to search for a keyboard or you don't have to have a joystick in your hand. So is it like replacing the mouse or do you use it in conjunction with it? So it, it can, yeah, it definitely can replace the mouse. Um, in practice, you know, if, you, if you've got your arm up in the air, um, you get a little tired after, after a while. Uh -huh, yeah, yeah. But uh, it's definitely uh, really cool to use and uh, definitely a great tool for, for a lot of different things. Is it difficult to set up, or is there like a, some sort of training process you have to go through? Uh, so initially there is, but that is only for the, these alpha prototypes, and uh, anything that actually ever gets released will be um, completely training free. Uh, you'll put on the armband, you'll do one simple gesture, uh, and then it will be matched to you, and you'll be able to just recognize all the gestures and the motions as well. And that works by your uh, the muscle movement, right? Yeah, yeah. So there are eight muscle sensors in the armband, and these actually recognize the electrical activity of your muscles. Uh, and so we match that to discrete gestures that you're doing with your hands. Okay. So it works well with gaming. Do you have like a, a demo of a game we can look at? Yeah, sure. Uh, so this is an a demo from one of our alpha developers. So we're actually sending out devices to the community right now, um, looking for people who you know want to create games or, or want to create integrations. Uh, and this is one of the ones that, that came back, a uh, really cool uh, kind of 3D word game. Uh, it's called Taken. Um, so you can see I've got my cursor here in the game, and I'm able to actually select letters as I go. Just using your Yeah, fist. Just, so I'm making a fist here and just selecting different letters, and then I can make a different gesture, uh, and that'll confirm the word. And now I can switch the mode and actually travel through this, this environment, and then go to somewhere where maybe there's more letters. This is actually also a multiplayer game too, uh, so you can have up to five people, I believe, uh, online duking it out, trying to spell the most words. It's actually pretty competitive when, you, when it comes down to it. This kind of device would be awesome for like a, a first-person shooter, right? Yeah, it would be really cool with the first person shooter. You know, you can actually point uh, at what you're shooting, um, do a simple gesture to actually trigger it. Um, it'd be great for, the, for that type of application. And you're saying in, in use with conjunction of the Oculus Rift, like that's, that's a really cool experience. Yeah, absolutely. So we've actually already created kind of initial proof of concept of using the Oculus Rift in the Mile, and it's, it's quite amazing. You know, you have um, your full arms in the game, which is something that you know, current VR controllers kind of lack. You're either holding a, an Xbox controller or, um, you know, you're, you're doing something else. It's just not really immersive. It doesn't feel like it's actually you in the game. Yeah. Uh, and so now you can actually look down, you know, see your arms. You can do different motions with them, different gestures. And it's really cool. The, uh, the demo we've got actually kind of gives you superpowers. You're able to, like, shoot right. fireballs and stuff. It feels awesome. And you can, eventually, you're going to have two wrists, right? Or you can if you want have yeah. two. Yeah, absolutely. So you can use you can use two at the same time. This act, actually, this game is a good example of that, um, where you know that that part where I'm moving through the the environment, I could do that with one arm, and the other arm I could actually still be selecting letters. Um, so it's a great example of of where that would be really cool and, and work really well. Anything else we need to know about the Mayo? Uh, it's available for pre-order right now okay. uh, on our website. It's $149. Um, we're shipping out developer kits in a few months, uh, so we'd love to hear from anybody who's interested in, in getting involved and uh, hearing more about the Maya. And what's the Maya website? It's thalmic.com. Thalmic.com. Perfect. Thank you, Scott. Appreciate it. Thank you. And magic. Thank you.